These musical pieces are inextricably linked with 007. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 James Bond theme songs. For this list, we're excluding the main James Bond theme, since it's the ultimate 007 tune. And instead, we're concentrating on the theme songs that came after its introduction in Dr. No. Number 10. Nancy Sinatra, You Only Live Twice. With a lush string arrangement, the theme to You Only Live Twice has Nancy Sinatra crooning along to contemplative lyrics and John Barry's moody music. And love is a stranger. Though it's essentially a pop song, it stands out thanks to its Asian flavors and haunting atmosphere. Don't think of the danger. All these features and more have attracted multiple artists to cover it as well. Number 9. Sheena Easton, For Your Eyes Only. For your eyes only can see me through the night. Though it wouldn't be the Scottish singer's first or last taste of American success, this Bond song still earned her a top 10 hit in the US and UK. Its 80s pop ballad sound so captured the Academy's attention that it nabbed an Oscar nod for its efforts. But you won't need to read between the lines. Easton is also the first and only artist to date to appear in a Bond movie's opening titles while singing the theme. Number 8. Madonna, Die Another Day. This offering from the Queen of Pop may not have been well received by all critics. But it still received Golden Globe and Grammy nominations for its fusion of pop, dance, new wave, and electronic music with strings. The cycle I'm gonna shake up. By veering away from the sound conventionally associated with the Bond canon, Die Another Day helped give the film series a modern spin with its pounding beat and Madonna's unique vocals. Not to mention, it was a worldwide hit. Number 7. Shirley Bassey, Diamonds Are Forever. Diamonds are forever. With its sexually suggestive lyrics, strings, and horns, Shirley Bassey's second venture into the world of Bond themes couldn't be more fitting to the movie's plot. Diamonds are forever. Hold one up and then caress it. The Welsh singer's powerful vocals helped turn the song into a fan favorite. I can see every part, nothing hides in the heart. helped cement Bassey's status as a significant figure in the movie franchise. Diamonds are forever, forever, forever. Number 6. Carly Simon, Nobody Does It Better. Nobody does it better. While there have been numerous covers of the theme for The Spy Who Loved Me, nobody does it better than Carly Simon. I wasn't looking. The American singer-songwriter's recording of the power ballad simply oozes sexiness. The way that you hold me, whenever you hold me. And pleased the Academy so much, it was given an Oscar nod. It reached the Billboard Hot 100's second spot and later became one of Simon's most well-known tracks. Baby, you're the best. This is the end.
Number five, Adele, Skyfall. Hold your breath and count to ten. By recalling the dark and dramatic musical ambiance refined by Shirley Bassey for earlier 007 films, this orchestral pop ballad is beautiful, haunting, and oh so bond. Let the sky Thanks to Adele's emotional and soulful vocals, the contributions of a 77-piece orchestra, and production from Paul Epworth, Skyfall maintained a perfect balance between classic and contemporary. Let the, sky fall. the top 10 hit was also the first Bond theme to win the Oscar for Best Original Song. Number four, Duran Duran, A View to a Kill. Mixing rock and new wave to evoke feelings of tension and excitement that are normally associated with spy films. With a view to a kill. Duran Duran crafted this three and a half minute number for the Bond film of the same name in 1985. Until we die. Despite critics' reservations about the band's abilities to compose a tune appropriate for the franchise, A View to a Kill became the only Bond theme song to top the Billboard Hot 100. Number three, Tom Jones, Thunderball. He always runs while others walk goes that this Welsh crooner strained his vocal cords so much to hold this song's final note that he lost consciousness. It was obviously worth it because his version of the track won out over the renditions of several other artists. Backed by the John Barry Orchestra, Tom Jones uses his hearty vocals to full melodramatic effect and nailed a top 40 U.S. hit in the process. Number two, Paul McCartney and Wings, Live and Let Die. Starting off slowly with piano and Paul McCartney's lead vocals, Say live, and let die. live and Let Die quickly becomes a sonic blast of symphonic rock with the addition of keyboards, bass, guitar, and drums. Featuring the writing talents of Macca and his late wife Linda, as well as production by Beatles producer George Martin, the exciting and unpredictable number became a top 10 hit. Live and, let die. and remains a McCartney live staple. Live and let die. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Shirley Bassey, Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Is there any other song that so flawlessly captures the action, drama, mystique, and intrigue of James Bond films than this? We think not. Knows when he's kissed her, it's the kiss of death from Mr. Goldfinger. In less than three minutes, Dame Shirley Bassey and John Barry fashioned a big brassy number that showed off her vocal chops while giving audiences a musical representation of the movie's gold theme. He loves only gold. Goldfinger also became Bassey's only top 10 hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and was later honored with a Grammy Hall of Fame award.
Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite James Bond theme song? With new top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.